Well, hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to be building the Legion's Cross. We will be playing on the hardest difficulty and the hardest map, Arid Highlands. We will name this after the design itself. And we will go medium map. Um, I'm trying to stay away from seed specific maps so that, that the longevity of these builds is indefinite. I worked really hard on this design. Um, to incorporate all of my knowledge of desirability bonuses and optimization of farming and what is needed on the hard difficulty map. This utilizes barns in a way that I haven't done in prior maps. I'm trying to keep things close to the defenses in my prior builds. I had things so far away that I had to add defenses and it just wasn't efficient. So I'm trying to make everything more compact, look better, and do everything that you need to uh, have a really strong playthrough on the hard difficulties. I really like this design. I think that it's going to hold up really well and I'm really interested to see how efficient it is because all of this I have designed in theory and I haven't built this at all. Um, I know how it's going to work uh, it, in, in respect to um, how much gold I'm going to bring in and how much my expenses are going to be. I'm going to be a little bit cash positive, but I don't know how efficient it will be in total. I have like a really good idea that it's going to, it's going to work out really well, but we will see. All right. So it works better when you have a flatter area of the map. Um, the design starts with the, from the bottom. I start building from the bottom of this design with the town center, which takes centerpiece, the centerpiece defense. Um, so you, which makes it really use, uh, useful for when I'm deciding where to build <clears throat> because like this is the bottom of the build and it will be 60 tiles to the across to the east and 60 tiles across to the west and it will be a hundred and like five tiles north so this is actually a ridiculously good map look how flat this like that's not that bad so some of the maps you generate they're really high and if you have to and if you have to keep creating a new map till you get something that can fit it, that's not, like, just do that. Um, but overall, it should be pretty easy. So this is, yeah, ridiculous. So this is great. I can use this lake as a natural buffer. I want uh, my centerpiece to be right here, so when the enemy comes, they are channeling through here and hitting uh, the, the most the most difficult part of my base to, to penetrate so I don't want to put it over here I want to put it like I want it right over in this area okay and this is great too because we have herbs and herbs are really uncommon in this map type so if I build it here there's a lot of good resources here um, doesn't look like I might have to actually destroy this because it doesn't look like there's any really good placement. I'm gonna have to terraform these areas out. All right, um, you know what? This is actually a really good place for it. This is perfect. Right here. Alright, now the first thing we wanna do is go to harvest resources and make sure we're only doing trees tell them to cut down the trees in the vicinity they're not going to have enough because this is the hardest difficulty they're not going to have enough wood um, to build it i'm going to times three just for, for now because i just want to get this going Now once that is up, we are going to build our food production. We're going to have two hunter's cabins and a smoker. Uh, my first first game playthrough, I didn't use the smokers and that was a mistake. Uh, smokers are incredibly essential to maintaining proper food levels. Two hunters and a smoker can supply pretty much like 40 people with enough food for a year. Alright, that's up. And try not to queue all the buildings that you want at once because it just gets kind of crazy. And we will need a little bit of stone to build this smoker, so I will select a rock individually and tell them to harvest it. 
I don't want them mining a bunch of rocks in the beginning because I want them focused on bringing in wood. This is actually a really good spot. Really good spot. The crop, the first croplands are going to go somewhere around here too, so that's awesome. That I, I didn't even, I should have looked at that. I didn't, and I looked out. Yeah, I was thinking about putting it up here a little bit higher, but I think down here is perfect. All right, and we're going to look for a deer population. We also do need to be where. Okay, thank God we have deer. Sometimes you'll start in a really bad spot. And there's boar over here, okay. And then we're gonna get a fishery up. So this tells us there's 308 fish in this entire lake. So we're not gonna have, we're just gonna have one fishing shack. One fishing shack can fish about 300 fish. Uh, if you put two, they're each gonna pull in 150 and, and you're gonna kill the fish population. So there's no advantage to having multiple fish shacks because the population's just too low. And that's part of the barren wasteland level. It's like, even though the lake looks really big, it's, it's not, it doesn't have a high fish population because of that. Um, and I probably should have put the hunt I probably should have put the smoker closer to this. I didn't. Um, uh, so yeah, try to put your. I should have done that. Try to put your hunters and your smoke shop next to each other for efficiency's sake. What the hell is this guy? Okay, he's getting deer. All right. Um, next step is to get uh, fire production going. We need to get a firewood splitter. And we need to get three houses to... Uh, right now, everyone's really unhappy, which impacts the immigration rate and their ability and their production. So we're going to get three houses up to get everyone housed and get their happiness up and productivity up. We're going to get a firewood splitter to start cutting wood to prepare us for the heavy winter that is coming. We're going to manually harvest that bush. We're going to manually harvest these bushes for food and a varied diet to decrease the probability of disease that happens. Okay, we got to be very careful not to go too far out because there are wolves and the wolves will, if you, early game, early game losing people sets you back tremendously. Once you start getting a good influx of people, you can lose people all day long to the, to the, the wild, but in the early game, you want to be very, very cautious. All right, we got three houses up. We're gonna get that fourth fourth house up and a fifth house up. And remember to go slow. Remember to go slow with your buildings in the beginning of the game. Uh, if, if you start placing everything, they, it just gets really inefficient and you're trying to build too much at once. Just try to build a little bit at a time. A couple buildings at a time. There's not a lot of wood resources near this location, which could be an issue. Um, ooh, that's going to be really nice. This is going to be a good area for the west portion of the base. Well, I'm getting up my little Excel file here. I actually will need to adjust this little bit I will need to destroy this and move it so that the walls can be built of well the walls could probably still be built effectively and actually if I build the walls here it's gonna cut off anyone from coming into this area this actually could work out to be a much better design than I anticipated because if I leave it there, the wall goes here, and then it goes up. So that would mean that this tower would be on this really high advantage point shooting down. And it would also mean that I cut off this entire area so that it has to channel through here. 
or it has to channel up through here and then hit the other area which is more defensible interesting yeah this this could work out let's uh let's just leave it let's see if it let's see if it does well Great fertility, great water supply, which is great for the early village. Speaking of water supply, let's get a uh, basic well. Now, I'm not worried about placement at this stage because you can move every single thing. You can destroy this by uh, hitting clear and highlighting the and highlighting the main building, and then it pops up uh, for you to build the town center again. So don't worry about your placement. Just worry about survival. And this fish shack right here is probably going to save this entire village from starving to death. That's just the fact. We're gonna get sawmill up to start making planks, which we'll need to build several of the structures, like the Fletcher. And we'll also need it to upgrade, and we'll also need it to uh, we'll need boards to make our first market to bring in gold because we want to get we want to get a tower up ASAP, a defensive lookout tower. Um, if you see wolves and bears coming at you, you can go here and get everyone inside. But it's good to have a tower because while you're sitting here in La La Land watching the fishes, if a bear comes or a wolf comes, you have that tower to take care of it. If a bear or a wolf engage somebody and you're not able to get to them in time, with the bear, there's not that much you can do. But with wolves, you you can clutch it and come back. But that that bear will just murder whoever it is. And like I said, early game, you don't want to lose anybody. Yes, that okay. So that is an insane stroke of luck insane stroke of luck to have that many people so this will this will help out dramatically I don't see anything that we can gather locally besides these bushes I don't really think I need to build a gathers Ooh. maybe down there and here a gathers hut would be useful but I can just tell them to harvest those resources manually We're gonna build another house. We're gonna build three more houses. I wanna get like about a 40 or 50 population. We're gonna leave the um, base exactly where it is right here. I like this spot a lot. I'm gonna start pre-terraforming this area for where the tower is gonna be going. The second, so the towers, yeah, the tower is gonna. There's gonna be a tower like right here, and I don't want it in this this giant dip. So I am going to just start terraforming the heck out of this place to get this up higher. The other two towers are going to go right up here, which is perfect. And the way terraforming works is it takes the averages of the cells and uh, raises them. So a lot of this gameplay is going to be terraforming. In the beginning, at least. I, I do want this to be... I do want this to be in a 
this tower to be in a location where it's going to have a really good height advantage. What's great is I have a I have a low point here, so when I get my walls in place, I can basically trench out from these low points and lower the terrain around the edge of my walls, which will give a better damage increase to my towers. I will be trenching around all of my areas that way. That way you don't have to like fully terraform out an area. You can just terraform the two tiles in front of the wall piece and just leave the rest of it high if you want. Because when the enemy forces hit the wall, they're going to just be sitting there and your towers will be shooting them. And they'll run. And when they hit, hit defenses, they run across the wall. They don't like run out to a place where you don't have a high attack bonus. So if you know the pathing of, of the AI, you can just kind of terraform those general locations rather than having to spend you know, days terraforming out a whole location. And I'll show you what that looks like as, as the game progresses. All right, and we're building a population very steadily. Our food supply leaves something to be desired. I will actually build that forager shack. And I will also build out a um, root cellar to give it even higher longevity to our smoked meats. Go ahead, manually do rocks. All right, so this person is going to die that's what I was talking about, about how you can't really just, you can't watch everybody all the time. Um, that, that happens. Luckily, we have a high enough population to absorb it. However, that does mean that they are going to want a graveyard. Um, put a small graveyard right there. Just a really small one. I like to put them as far away from the base as possible so it doesn't impact my future design. Like I said, early game, I harvest stone manually when I need it, just because I want everyone cutting wood. Pause the game. Okay. That's another good thing about the hunters. Oh, man. I got ammunition soon. Another good thing about the hunters is they act as early game deterrents for animals and also bandits. An early game hunter can take out several bandits. They're very strong. So right now I'm trying to bring up the height of this whole area so that my tower has a good height advantage. It's going to take a while to do it, but it's going to look nice. It's going to have a really good attack in this area. This would be great. I'll just put a secondary wall right here that blocks off this whole thing so anybody coming from this direction will have to get by. That will add an extra layer of protection to the farmland that goes up over here. Here I will be able to get much of a height advantage terraforming unless I spend a really long time. If I can bring all this over here. You know, I'm being kind of lazy, I just don't want to spend like three hours terraforming one tile at a time. That might be what I have to do though. I might have to do this right if I'm gonna do it. Do it right then. I mainly just need a large body of people to terraform right now. So I feel good about our food supply. I feel good about the population we're able to carry. Everybody is doing a job. Let's get the market up to start getting some money in. 
I'm gonna stay away from the area we're terraforming because objects that are in terraforming start turning sideways and you can't do anything about it. Even if you replace them down, they still look wonky and I hate it. So what I'm trying to do is take these high elevations and just do a few of the low elevations at a time. Um, that way, because it averages everything. If I do too many, then it's going to average it and I'm going to lose a lot of height. But if I do it slowly, it builds up. That's what I'm going to have to do over there. But I do need more people. We're going to add, um, we're going to add a couple more houses. I'm going to add it to where the market is. They're saying the food stocks are low, but they're not. Yeah, a gatherer would actually do fairly well down there, so let's do a gatherer. I thought... Let's, let's see what we got. I already have a forger. I already did that. I'm like, wait a minute. I've already been here. There you are. Um, try to get all this... Okay, yeah, we got eggs, we got lots of stuff. Lots of really good stuff down there. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna do really well. Lots of terraforming though. Once we get the market up, we'll build a Fletcher. We need 20 boards for that, I believe. Wood planks. This has been a, a pretty decent start. Um, I've had starts where the wolves come and just eat half the town. So uh, relatively, we are doing very well. Just waiting out the winter right now. Uh, we're hunt our hunters are doing fairly well. Our one fish shack. Oh my god, I forgot to Gonna look for a good fishing productivity. I got distracted. Don't get distracted. 160 seems to be one of the betters. So we only need the one fish. Well, okay, thank God. He's he's bringing. He was. He was even with those two notes. He's still bringing in the max. So as as we discussed, 290 is the fish population. Um, so he's already kind of like overfishing the area by himself. So we're definitely not gonna add another guy. Even though it looks like a big lake, it's got a small fish population. And the fish regenerate over time. The devs have said this about fishing, so you gotta be really careful about not overfishing areas. But they will replenish given time, but if I have two guys doing it, they'll actually get less yields each, and I just, so it's just a waste of resources. Look at that. Isn't that great? Until we get to the 
main person and raise this up. I don't really care about the walls or anything else. I just want to get whatever is shooting up higher so that it gets that damage bonus. This is actually a really fortunate location because the defenses are high and the area around it is low. What in the world, lady? Help your help your butt boy out. There you go, the hunter got him. Alright, so I have a market, I have gold, which means that I can build my first tower, which will help with the wolves. So we'll get that going. We also are have the ability you want to get a Fletcher up as soon as possible. Uh, so you, you don't run any arrows, because that would be bad. Alright, and we're gonna get so you see we're terraforming this area up a little bit at a time. We're just gonna ink it down until get right about there and that I think that the second tower is gonna be lined up with this area. And then there will be two walls. Oof, that's just gonna work. Yeah, well, let's just get this whole piece up here. That will be look really cool for defenses. Once I get the terraforming done here. Um, then we'll start organizing the base. It's all gonna go right here. We're just gonna build over top all this stuff, screw it. There's plenty of other areas. There's plenty of other resources. They're very abundant. The only thing I hate building over, and that's not a lot. The only thing I hate building over is something like this. 7,000 gold, 2,000. Most likely we'll start mining that. I can't, I can sell the, one of the things I do is I sell the ore early game uh, for money, but once you hit tier three, you can start smelting it and you make a fortune. There's tons of ore um, on this map though, so much. This is actually in the industrial section of the base right here. So that's actually gonna work to our advantage. We can just mine it out of there. And it'll be right next to where it needs to go, so that'll be very efficient. Alright, we got our root cellar, which will pro give us a bit of a better shelf life. And we do not seem to be pulling in the bucket loads of... Uh, I want a little bit of herbs. A little bit of herbs. Uh, I feel like we should be pulling in more food. What is going on here? These guys are pulling in so much. Oh my gosh, I forgot to... I literally, I literally canceled this earlier. I was placing it and then forgot. Smokehouse was enough. Always build your smokehouse. That's why I, I was mining that rock. I thought I placed it. I'm getting sloppy. But that's, that shows you why you should uh, build your smokehouse. <laughs> so even without a smokehouse, I was doing well. But I should have, I should easily have like 15 months worth of food. Which means that all that yeah, I like see all the protein that's spoiled. And you gotta get you gotta get a smokehouse. I think I remember why it's because I wanted to place it over here next to the uh, the fissure. But that will put too much of a negative. I shouldn't have done that. Alright, yeah, just build it over there for now. To get everything. I need to get this terraforming done. I got uh got way too sidetracked.
Terraforming takes forever. Eventually, though, I actually could terraform from up here and um, terraform everything up. I'm just really worried it's going to warp warp the designs. I hate when it does that. keep my population kind of low so they don't burn through all the wood while I terraform but I need more bodies terraforming at the same time all right we got the smokehouse up that's gonna really increase the uh, food supply Cancel that one. All pieces.
Right now we just need people and get coming in, so. Let's see. The only thing we could do is upgrade to tier two. Need a 30 pop and more stone. So let us get the stone necessary for that upgrade. population of two more people. I think a population of 50 would be better. Once I get this terraforming done, I'm going to start populating the area. job though this used to be a giant dip so this will be great for the defenses because the walls are gonna go right here and the towers are gonna be in here and so the towers are all gonna be above with huge bonuses the towers here will have huge bonuses to anything coming from this area or this area it's gonna be a really defensible location this is actually very fortunate could have been a very terrible start stop terraforming this area once I'm done because I just need to focus on getting this done so that I can start uh, positioning everything in. Once we get this upgraded, we can build walls and we can start um, focusing on that very early stage. So I want to get, I want to get all these, tr I want to get the first area developed and I want to get it walled. I'm gonna build up slowly so that I can do this do this pretty well. Um, if you over if you try to grow too fast you just burn through the wood. builders for the terraforming team. Start getting the the uh, basic outlines going. so I can see where the road starts. Let's 
try and get... I'm gonna move all the houses into their proper locations here shortly. I just need to get them out of the freaking way. This one's a little different because of how wide the bottom piece is, but essentially, road start there. And this should be two, this should be four tiles wide. Um, and this design well goes right here, and a rat catcher goes right there. And the market goes right above it. The slope is too steep, so we will need to terraform this. Got a bear up there, of course. He's like, "Oh, you're make you're making good progress, aren't you?" I better come. All right, that's it. All right, get everybody the freak away from the bear. Ah, nope. It's too late. People are gonna. Ha oh, thank God he attacked the hunter. He attacked the wrong person. That was super fortunate. If that was anyone else, they would have they would have died in two hits. You lose bear. Got, got good, really good. Good, good start on this map. Uh, really lucky with the resources that are available. Alright, let's start. Once we get the market in place, we will start moving the houses. I see I can only have three on it at a time. I should probably change that one. That'd be nice to be able to have like at least five or seven guys doing this. It's gonna take forever, three people. Always something. doing with those buckets she's just like throwing yeah it looks weird oh they're putting the water back <laughs> it's like what are they doing Raiders coming. We're just gonna get in. Let's 
There's four of them, so the hunters can actually probably take these guys out. Yeah, not much of a challenge. To get, they get much more vicious than that, though, that's for sure. goes there. Now we're going to start moving the houses. I wonder, can I move a house that's on? No, I can't. I can move the house next to it. The school is going to go there. The uh, shrine will go there. Now I need to get this area flattened out. Houses will go here. I need to get this area level enough that I can build. And the towers will go up here. This is actually pretty really good. I like this. It's a it's a good slope for building. I'm just gonna leave it how it is. I could definitely tweak this and make it better, but then it gets all wonky. This is like a perfect slope that keeps the elevation and keeps all the defensive properties, but isn't going to tweak out the terraforming. Open all this stuff. All right, we're just gonna go crazy with the terraforming for a second. This one I'm actually gonna cancel and figure out where the walls are before I raise any areas.
And so these these little areas they're pretty small. They have 20 houses per. So that's 80 people, 180 uh, people in the basic buildings, 100 people when you can upgrade to to the building that you have five, and then at top tier, that's 120 people per sector for a total of 480 if they're all mansions. So this will be a decent sized town, but each of these sections is really easy to build. So that's one of the things I liked about this design. And I use the roads a lot because I like the roads for the um, small plaza bonuses. You can actually even get small plaza bonuses in between the wall pieces of the design on the outside ones. So getting desirability up uh, is really, really, really easy. It just costs resources, which aren't too hard to come by, to be honest. So. I believe that's all the houses except for this one right here. I shouldn't have put a house there, the house is good here. I'm gonna have to delete all these. When I have the building set up, I'll delete all these roads to be honest and redo them. trade post I'm gonna put here for now it's gonna be moved that's not where it goes I do need to get the trade post though and I do need to go oh. there's a lot we can do right now um, I want to start mining coal to sell so I'm gonna get a wagon shop up and I'm gonna get coal operation going um, and we can sell that should probably get this coal up here That's a pain to, to uh, build a house over this gold, but it is what it is.
unfortunately we don't have access to clay on this map prop most likely i've only seen one map that had one clay resource on it and literally just one clay resource no others um we're going to sell wood which is a sin in a lot of respects but i really need the money uh, I need to be able to buy any clay that I see. That not uh, I need to buy as much raw clay as I possibly can. This guy will give me five. This guy will give me five. Neither of them have anything that I want. I like being flush on wood though because Can, uh, instead of putting that in the firewood production, I could put it into building up infrastructure. And I will start mining some stone, some smaller pieces. So this first area will get us up to 180 people, or sorry, will get us up to 80 people. And that is a very healthy population to have. This area right here, terraform it up. All that terraform. Yeah, I just want this. Just this area. Now, everything else I want to be very low. Cows I'll buy when I get stuff going on that. get this coal going over here and that will provide us with coal to trade. I could burn wood for it but I'd rather just mine it out of the ground and use that wood to uh, build out defenses. I still think 80 population is like easily doable without farming. Um, I'm actually going to move the trade post down here. I'm going to build this out.
terraforming is already starting to make stuff look a little weird. I hate the terraforming. six tiles so I glitched see how I glitched it out with the terraforming it's freaking bonkers I think this shelter yeah I mean I could I could leave it that way but I don't want to cheese this build I want it to be Pretty freaking weird, man. See, I can like, I can literally. This house is only taking up three tiles, man. Terraforming this game is super broken. I'm not gonna do that though. You guys could definitely take advantage of it, but I, I'm trying to show you guys how to build this thing. I'm not trying to show you how to cheese the game. I can wait for another video. Um, let's start making sure that this coal's all in here. Do they have any clay? No clay. I want to get that school up so my people become educated and more productive. Clay. We're buying all the raw clay we can. Okay. We're going to trade all these pelts if we can. I'm just going to try to sell everything that I possibly can. I could totally take advantage of this and put decoration buildings all over this, but I'm I'm gonna build it out proper. That should be another video that I do though. If people do want to know how to cheese this stuff, um, but I don't find it as interesting. All right, we got plenty of raw clay now for the early buildings. That means we can also get and get this up as soon as you possibly can, the healer's hut. In the harder difficulty diseases, they can fly. Um, so you wanna get that up ASAP. That pretty much assures the survival of your, of your place. All right, and then above this, we're putting a large statue uh, and then small statues here, two decoration buildings and a pub and a tavern. I'm sorry, a bakery and a pub. <laughs> Two of the same things. Um, but this is it. So, how do I have 84? I have an extra house somewhere. Oops. 
destroy that. I think two people is appropriate. That brings in um, a bit of resources. Yeah, try to buy as much clay as you can. I bought quite a bit, so that you need it for upgrades and all types of stuff. Okay, once I get the terraforming done, I'll delete the roads and re replace them. I want to make sure that everything is situated correctly. First set of walls are going here. And there's gonna be walls going out for five tiles. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I want everything five tiles across this. this I like that way. Here I want the walls above that. And I want to slope this gradually into this area. We'll do six tiles on this side. I just want the defense as the slope. said early game lots of terraforming just because of the spot I picked but it comes to my advantage but this is it this is the legion camp it's really optimal like I said 80 then 100 then 120 people I do have healer huts in each one of them which is really expensive but that also ensures that diseases are kept down gets you the bonus it's only 20 gold a month I mean like technically you could probably just build two healer huts and upgrade them to hospitals. Um, the advantage to the upgraded hospital is the increased capacity and the ability to use medicine. But if you don't make medicine, and to be quite honest, I haven't had to, um, it's kind of just like a luxury to have medicine. I just, like, I think you could get away with just having four healer huts, which is the equivalent as having two upgraded hospitals. So that's not necessarily more expensive than any of my other builds, which had two upgraded hospitals. Uh, so each area has its own, you know, either hut. So I think that's sufficient. The bear. The bear is on a rampage. Get that bear. Houses are already upgrading. Ooh. I am gonna. I guess I am gonna build slow though. Like I wanna. I wanna get the most out of my resources. I don't wanna have to clear cut the whole forest to build my base. As I clear cut the forest to build my base, um, is what it is. One, two, three, one, two, three. Road. I miscalculated here. Means I want all of this at the same height. I have one wall, two walls, tower two walls in front of the tower. It's gonna come out one, two, three, four tiles this way after the first wall. So five tiles this way. So all of this. Yeah, 
Yeah, this would be ridiculously. <laughs> How are they gonna hit those towers? Like across the lake, the towers will be raining down on them. Start harvesting rocks. Our food supply is getting a little tight. Each of our guys is bringing in quite a bit of meat, so there's really not a lot more resources I can pull in. Plotting out the uh, farm. I thought I could feed this population on uh, what I had, but I think that it will become too risky. these two for when I want to start making bread. Um, he doesn't have anything I want. Leave that be then. Hunters are badasses, man. Basically kill everybody. Hunters are basically your early military. See how it's now s this freaking tower is sideways because I I terraformed under it. It's gonna look like that forever now. We're just gonna have this wonky sideways tower. I think uh, and moving it doesn't. Uh, you can move it and then rotate it back into position, but when you place it and build it, it still it still builds sideways. Yeah. So all these. I prefer to have the terraforming done before I place buildings because it starts tilting them slowly. It does give a unique look to everything though. Yeah. 
tower is forever sideways. So see, I'll do this. And then... Oops. I'll rotate it. And it goes back to normal, right? Then you place it down. Nope. Wonky. <laughs> you just can't get... You have to destroy it. I'll have to destroy that tower if I don't want it to look like that. Same with all these buildings. They look fine to me, so I'm not gonna destroy anything. I might even keep the wonky tower just because it looks funny. Definitely need to get medicine. Okay, and all the walls five need to be level. We are getting close. Well, this is still higher than this area, so quasi worked. This is gonna look really interesting, actually. What's cool though is that the towers will be up here, so if they break into the city, they'll have it. It's actually kind of like nice to have a low elevation for your city because if they break in, the towers uh, have a huge bonus to attack. If I replace this wonky tower here, so he has a five plus six attack over here this tower is gonna go like right here but as you can see like out, out down in the valley where the walls are where they can actually run through I'll have plus 14 and plus 10 damage like yeah that I don't like this I I'm gonna delete this tower actually it, it's bothering me so much it's bothering my OCD so much it's sideways like that That's it's incredibly wasteful, I know, but it has to be done. The days of the wonky tower have come to an end. When I get this these walls up first and then I'm gonna start terraforming again. I try to have as few gateways as possible. I'm not gonna have one for every road. And I'll only have ones at the ends.
get the roads up last. I can just go to clear and select roads, delete all the roads, and then fill them back in. Terraforming. Terraforming is really interesting. I could definitely put decorations and all that. Have the craziest, cool looking sound ever. That would be a fun build. I'll ha maybe I'll do a. Uh, I'll do a special build for that sometime, but this is not the intent for this, so. We're just barely. barely making it. What's great about this design is I really focused on, I really focused on design here. So this road literally runs right under where you're going to be building all the farming. So from this point. From that point, the first 10 by 11 starts at 15 tiles out. Right here. Just count that one more time to make sure. Yeah, right there. So we're gonna start with our big plot first, which is gonna be for agriculture, but I'm gonna get it up high. I'm gonna start it first just to make this build easier on me. did it wrong. So 10 high and 11 wide. Okay, yep, 10 high and 11 wide. Now that I made these farming areas like literally perfect. So everything has to be placed exactly. Lots of clay. They don't want any of my coal yet, but they will. They will all want the clay. I mean, I want the clay. They don't want any of my coal. Words. All right. doing this as a general guide to the area. I just want to get one farm up. I'm just going to plant clovers and beans on that field. I don't care if it gets diseased or whatever. I just wanted to get the fertility up and start producing food. Alright, the raiders have come to get their ass kicked again. You get attacked by lots more in the hard map and the hard difficulty. You get attacked by raiders, you get attacked by bandits, you get attacked by lords and people. The lords have like heavily armed men that are way hard to kill. People are not happy about the lack of shoes. Um, I'm actually going to get a cobbler up. I want to keep everyone as happy as possible and cobblers reduce the probability of your people tripping and breaking their legs, which is not a joke. Actually, you'll, you'll get little things in the side. Little notifications that people have fallen and can't get up. So 
This first one is one, two, three, gatehouse, gatehouse, tower. First tower will go right here. Look at that really nice defense bonus it has. When I'm done, I'm just gonna terraform this whole area to be super low so it gets even better. I really like this build because it encourages a, a slow start that's going to be successful. Like I'm cash positive, I've got like a bunch of houses that are about to upgrade because there's our abilities doing well. Okay, so we got all the got everything here. Oh great, tear from this area. I want my roads to be as long as possible so they're easier to click on and upgrade. It gets really hard to do that when you start building plazas. I don't want to have to click on a bunch of small pieces of road. Actually. Let's, uh, let's do this proper.
Sorry, sorry about that. I had a phone call. Um, here we go. Yeah, see, I like to be able to place long roads. Long. Oops. Oops. Yeah, and unfortunately, I screwed this all up. Yeah, no, you're all hungry. Eat some of the... Eat someone, I don't know. There's plenty of meat. I just don't want any of it. I'm trying to build this awesome legion camp. I have time to feed everybody. Right, I'm gonna reset these buildings so that the build is proper. Like I said, I've, I've gotten decorations down to a science, so you're probably wondering how I can afford to uh, create something with such little decoration. Oh, gosh. That's right. There it goes there. And it's because I spam plaza. I spam plazas underneath the roads, and I upgrade this as soon as I can. I have these two buildings here, and I put medium statues on the insides of the wall. I put large parks on each side, which I use um, for both as kind of like a defensive barrier because they don't attack decorations, um, and uh, that those bonuses come in. So basically, you don't need to include all of the deck. If you just build two large parks, I don't have to fit a large park into this design, and that's really easy to fit a large park outside. So that allows me to create just a little place for people, which allows me to concentrate my defenses on the buildings that need defenses. I don't need to defend decorations. So that's that's one of the things I'm, I'm working on with optimization is trying not to uh, include things that I don't need inside my walls. Setting all my buildings so that they take up the proper space. Because I'm not trying to glitch the system with this build. I want to show that it. I want everyone to know this build works. And it's because of the roads. Uh, I, I use the roads for roads and decorations. I can place plazas underneath all of these and get 1%. I can even place plazas in the line I put in between the walls, which is why I have that. Um, so I basically, <laughs> I can get like about 30% desirability per house just out of those small plazas. So I actually, on my test, I made a, I made a mock setup of this. I was able to get like a hundred and I was able to get like a hundred something desirability. Um, 115 if I have one of the, I got raiders. 115 if I have one of the theaters near. So yeah, it works really well. Oh damn, they stole some gold. I gotta move this somewhere. Defensible. I think I'm gonna have to build the industrial sector next. There's the whole yeah, there's still all the gold out of there. That sucks. Whatever.
So the walls go down. Four tiles. Right, five tiles down here. piece right here. Sorry, right there. That up. Oh, I messed up this. This should have been down one more tile. That's why it's not yep. Might have to skip a wall here, but that's fine. The water will block it. Having all my stuff outside like this is uh, not a good, not a good play. setting up right I forgot I had tweaked this at the last moment to uh, account for the medium statues that I put throughout the wall system that way I don't have to place the, me like the medium statue there and there I guess the whole area and that way I don't have to place them inside like I said I tried to really minimize so I could get every when this upgrades will hit everything and the rat catcher hits everything in this area too It's the only area I have like this, and it's because I had to t create one more tile to account for this being a little bit bigger than the barracks on the north tip. Um, but all of this is double. Oh, that's perfect. It's literally perfect. Look at that. Roads. This is one of four of these. So, if they add up though, like I said, there's 20 houses in there. Doesn't look like it, but uh, it adds up.
I mean, we're just we're just like barely hanging on this village, but soon. And with that said, I can do this. There's a single wall. There's a double wall. Single wall, double wall, and then roads. And this one doesn't have a double wall, so the roads go to roads go to like right about here. This is supposed to be two tiles. This is where I put uh, the medium statues. So there's that. That's actually fine. Like, you don't need because I don't need it because. Oof, that's kind of a bad spot for that. Oh, that's actually perfect because I don't have anything that's supposed to be built there. So this is actually a free spot that I have a well and a rat catcher here, but this is actually the storage area. And then from here they come out on a road to the farms on either side. It's a little bit away from the farm, but I think it will play out just fine. I might, re I might redesign it. So, this is pen pending. And this is the storage area. People are starving to death, so that's not a good sign. Alright, I need to stop building. I got carried away. Oh, that's why I had one of my dudes. Alright, we don't need Sawyers. Sars. People sawing. Alright, we need to get food. That's my oh god, that's right, I moved them. I'm such an idiot. I am not on my A game today. Um not at all. I got way too mesmerized by my design. Right, it's fine, people will die and people will migrate. It's just that's how this game works. Well, it actually usually works a lot better, and then this guy wasn't. One twenty. That's probably my best bet right there. Yeah, we weren't hauling any food. Whoops. I'm just. I'm trying to see who the toughest people of my my village are.
Always, always remember when you move your your uh, food supply to uh, reset, reset the areas. That's a pretty amateur, amateur move there. It's gonna set me back. At least I got a lot of good work out of them. Though. died that time. I think I think we're going to start bringing in some food one of these days. Oh, they're dying. He's di they're dying fast. Probably going to lose half the village. Butcher that meat faster, boy. Yeah, the guy butchering meat's dying. What does that say? Yeah. Careful when you're uh, moving stuff around. I've actually never had anyone die of starvation before. Usually, I got uh, got distracted. going on. Everyone keeps dying before they can butcher. Alright, this guy might actually be able to butcher meat. Alright. 60 meat. 12 meat. We got food. Thank God. Alright, we gotta build our population back up. But yeah, this is the, um, in between here is where I keep all the stocks. In be and this is gonna have a tower here and a tower here protecting it. And then we'll build the next Legion camp, which is the industrial sector. And then we'll build the second um, Legion camp, which is another area like this. And then this is my beam, my bean spam uh, routine that I've been using on the hard maps. Um, actually need to, since I have a low population anyway, let's get rid of those weeds, rocks, uh, but the bean, um, because of how long of a duration there is between the end of a bean crop and it taking another year to proc, if it gets a disease, it's usually gone by that time. So it's kind of funny, but if you do this, it kind of like the system doesn't like you'll get diseases here and there, but they don't last long because of they usually time out by the time the next season comes, just because of how long it takes to grow beans. So it's just kind of something I found is really easy early game. It's just do clovers and beans, and just don't care about disease chance. Like it gets a disease, it's like whatever, it loses 13% of the crop, but you're getting a ton of beans which have a medium storage life, so it's good. high yield. Decent, uh, decent duration, duration, uh, shelf life duration. People are very unhappy that they are dying. Um, I don't know why. You would think that living in this, this harsh life, they would, uh, they, they'd be very happy about that, but they are not. At least I gave him shoes, right? I mean, they got shoes. Well, you can eat their shoes, too. The shoes are leather, so I kind of feel like they're not trying hard enough to not die. I hear that they should be boiling those shoes or something. So maybe, maybe the strong survived, and now I have 
Well, let's see what made. Yeah, see, ed 41% of the people alive are educated. So, stay in school and you won't starve to death, I think, is, uh, I think is what this is telling us. Or don't subject yourself to rule by a, a jerk, I guess. Anyone start to death? Yeah. Don't live in a shanty village. There we go. I want that gold. These people are sitting on a pile of gold. I might be able to put a mine outside, actually. gonna decrease desirability of this area but that gold ore will actually sell for more than this coal ore so I'm just gonna leave this at zero start start mining coal I just feel like I have to go further out for meat now. It's a bit concerning. Yep, I know it has an empty crop season. So there's the crops. Storage is right here. It's all pretty it's all pretty close. And so the stop the top of the storage area runs parallel here. And then there's a one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. There are three six by twelves here, which is the same as an eight by nine. It's 72, 72 squared tiles, exactly the same as an eight by nine. So I use six by twelves here. I have a barn here, a ten by ten for the barn uh, to graze, and then another crop. That way, it's all sort of a little bit closer. My last build, I had my barn super far away from town, so I have it here. But there's going to be another. Right here is the towers and the next legion fort, so that legion fort is overlooking this area. The center legion fort overlooks all the two farming plots on this side, and then this legion fort over here looks over the two farming plots on the left side. So once you see the full design, it'll, it'll make sense how I did this. Or it won't. So there's gonna be two walls in front of this one as well. I'm gonna to have to build this one special. Cause I'm not gonna be able to get in here ever again. So I'll have to build this part out one time. <laughs> there's nowhere to stand over here. So I'll have to build these out. I'm actually not gonna do this until I can do it in stone. got surprise attack. See that didn't tell me they were there until it was too late. Back times three. This guy's not so tough. Yeah. Those three the three fucking Three stooges just attacking my base and got freaking load. That was pretty, pretty stupid. I don't know why this isn't building. I'm gonna stop it. Oh, something with these trees. that cannot be cut down for some reason. Yeah, losing those people was a pretty big setback, but we'll get through it. I want that guy teaching. I want educated workers for their productivity boost. And I'm going to start collecting gold. 
start stocking this with gold as soon as I find it. Okay, back to making mistakes. This is the second Legion Fort here. It has two walls, a single wall. Right. And then the trader goes right there. I'll redo all these roads when I get stuff later. I just go a little bit at a time. I think it'd probably be advisable to get my industrial area up sooner rather than later. Let's move things in order so it's easier for us to see. One storehouse goes here. Granaries go underneath it. One right there. One right there. Two root cellars. I'm going to leave that root cellar down there because it's serving a purpose. Two root cellars. And three woodcutters go right there. Right next to the stockyard. And I designed this so, you, as you see, they don't they don't have a desirability impact. If they were right there, they would, but they're perfectly. And there's going to be three of these. And I'm going to build all three of them right now. And I'll just turn them off. And then a windmill is going to go right here. And I designed this too so that the windmill won't have a negative impact. And if you look at my design, I, I, I flipped all of the storage areas so that these, the appropriate buildings aren't having an impact on desirability. This, these three tiles right here are clear for anything. Gold ore there. And then I have a stockpile that goes right here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, there's one more grain. There's one granary there. That's why it's off. Mm, I'll move that around in a second. And there's walls. These walls here that connect with the secondary wall. This is an inner area between the fortifications. And there's an, this identical storage situation on the other side. Sweet. <laughs> we'll grow our 
population back. Wait, why does it say 72? It doesn't add up. 10. 8, 10. It should say 80. Oh my lord. What is going on? The terraforming's really screwed things up. Alright, we also need to get waste collector. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna place that in the design yet. I may place it like right here, in fact. This is a pretty good location for it. Right next to the crops. Yes. This is exactly where I'm gonna place it. It's perfect. Funny enough, the cobbler actually does go up here. Two granaries, and then the cobbler right here. Or there, it's fine. Yeah, I was I was gonna get this wall finished, but um, everybody died. So now it just seems kind of foolish. I hate when it says there's no crop there when it's like obviously planted. Oh, it's saying it has empty crop. Okay, it's like, what are you talking about? There, now. I was worried for a second that it was, I was like, what, is it too far away or something? Too much money. Oh, that's why it says 72. I couldn't tell in the winter these things are uninhabited because the the gold mine is uh, decreased the value. counter to that and it is called operation spam the plazas there we go should have enough golden stone to complete that task Here. All the fits. Road, road, boom. There we go. And then I have a rat catcher here which hits all the granaries and everything in this area. Six rat catchers in total in this build. 
But that should give pretty easy access to the farms. I think that they should be able to um, get those areas pretty easily. Deer, that's great. Bring that deer closer. Wonderful. There's gonna be a lot of good meat there. Yeah, come eat my, my beans, deer. So I can get that meat. Population slowly rebuilding after the great the great <laughs> famine happened. The great migration of hunter cabins and forgetting to reset their hunting areas. Look at that food supply because of the meat, though. It's crazy. I have like a whole year's worth of food. Oh crap, I forgot I had about those heavy parts. Um, well, you know what? Screw it. Buckwheat season is here. Let's, let's just dive right in. The bakery right here. See the bakery. Yeah, the bakery hits almost everybody. And then the tavern's over here. It, it hits them. All in all, though, like, with the amount of plazas that I, like... I mainly realized you just want to maximize your pl like these things, because I could place I could place them here too, except for on this this one. But uh, on the other all the other builds, you could place them in between the walls to hit the outer buildings, and then you got all these inner roads. There's so many so many easy ways to. Uh, to get the decorations up in this game. I am going to place this. Okay, so we have ball. One, two, one, two, right there. Get the wall, two space. Wall, wall. Road. No, something's off. Should be two walls here, and then the road right there. So 
wall. One, two, one, two. Yeah, okay, yeah, yep, yep. So, in my design, I have much more than one large park. That's for aesthetics. You only need to place one of these in the beginning. This, like, later in the game, I'm gonna build out all the parks. You only need one large park on each side. We're back up to 40 people. But yeah, having all the storage centralized in this area, and then I have two more um, stockyards here, but in total I have four storehouses, which I'll upgrade have eight root cellars, which is seriously more than enough, and oh my god, I don't even know how many, something like, well, it's only eight great granaries, which is pretty sufficient. There we go. Just two just two of these plazas got got it back into good standing. Look at that. I placed my farms pretty good spot. start producing bread soon though. We're already at the bread age. This is what the whole place is gonna look like. And this is upgrade the stone. I mean, ta two, two towers there, two towers there, two towers there, two towers there. Um, yep. We need to get the industrial area up, and then our second residential up next to really start getting this build into proper. What's great here is I have this gold, so I can just move one fire with splitter and have access to all that gold and all that sand right there. I actually have some extra space in the industrial area and there are actually some buildings I can't build until tier three anyway, so I can just um, mine that out and put these elsewhere until I'm ready to put them in their proper place. Now on the hard map, I've said this in other videos, if this is your first time watching. So the hard map has a really low fertility growth um, until you get a lot, and I mean a lot of compost, you really can't sustain wheat. Um, the wheat and rye plants, but buckwheat only has a negative two. Uh, the clover has a plus three percent chance. It does appear though that the um, increases in fertility are halved. So it's more like 1.5% and then minus two. So I'm losing just a little bit of fertility every year. And there is also kind of an RNG to it. Sometimes you don't get any fertility boost when you do a fertility boosting plant. So it gets pretty hard. That's why I do clovers and beans because they're two positive producing fertility plants. And they like eventually the fertility goes up. 
uh, in my last build, once I got enough compost, I could keep wheat and rye at like 90%, but like in two years they go down to like 80%. Like it, like it's way different than the other maps. It's a lot harder to grow stuff here. You have to be a little bit more tactical about it. And this is actually really good. All these resources are in my industrial sector. Very happy about that. All of them. Oh, and that gold. That's great. So I only really lost that. And I'm okay with the deer eating my crops. Except for that pig. I don't like pigs. Because uh, the hunters are coming up here to kill everything. So. Uh, they did eat quite a bit though, didn't they? But that's a thousand. This thing's going to yield. So another reason you grow buckwheat is because buckwheat isn't as fertility dependent. So you get a really high yield relative to other things. Uh, like other options because it's not fertility dependent. So yeah, 1,188 wheat is 1,188 bread. They harvested, it looks like, a little bit less because the deer ate some. So it's like 900 bread, which is like way more than enough to feed 40 people. Yeah, this is seem this is seeming act this is looking pretty pretty efficient for the defenses that it's gonna have. I was a little worried because the stuff is a little bit far away from from everything, but I think it will be okay. I'm not like some of these guys can carry a lot. The storage is already empty. They just carted off 900, so. Upgrading this road will make a huge, huge improvement in the speed. I have a large statue that's going right behind the school. And I have medium statues that go in between the walls here. It's, it took me a while, like I had to tweak this design because the medium statues don't have a, I couldn't put them outside the walls to get everything. So I'm like, oh, what if I put them inside the walls? So that's how that design came about. And I think it might actually even look cool. So that, that'll be neat. This thing has all my gold in it, so that's kind of freaking me out.
definitely need to keep the walls up. tower up to so have some defense covering this area can't afford all the towers of this, this design yet until I get more stuff rolling in Farms up. Selling shoes, I guess. There we go. I know I'm sell I know this stuff worth a lot more, but I have so much of it, and I can't produce any until later. Um, I want these ingots for upgrades. Upgrading decorations. You need iron ingots. steal the money that I just made. So people are gonna have to die. Oh, they stole ingots. That's good. That's good. I can afford I can afford a few lost ingots. I think for the time being I'm gonna pull this over here. Thank you. 
stole a lot of my ingots. Bang, I gotta get the second area up for that. That's a bit of ways, two, three is a bit of ways. I'm gonna have to be patient. See the gold alone is taking up that space. I have in my design a lot like a ton of vaults, so you get a lot more builders going, yeah. So far, so good. But yeah, this is just one, one fort. There'll be another fort here for the industrial, and then there'll be another residential on the west, north, and east. And that eastern fort will be right above, right over here, and right above all this.
Could upgrade the hunters. Hmm, I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather keep it for upgrading decorations. towers here too. This tower is the best though. Anyone who comes around here is going to get mopped. It does look like they're able to walk this way. But only on that little ledge which I'm going to put a wall on. Try not to overproduce firewood like I used to. Um, I do think I need to build, however, a work camp to concentrate the wood endeavor. stone upgrades you got to be kidding me is it glitched out so I moved it it got glitched out when I moved it oh let's do it again thousand stone right there that's crazy it's really fortunate for me I don't want them to do stone right now though I want them just to cut the wood not any tree they see I want them to cut the laborers do the stone okay we got almost 80 we're, we're sitting on easy street now Unglitched. I might actually put a work camp like right here and grow trees underneath all of my crops that way it's close to the the wagons
thousand bread. I make it all of it. That's pretty good. Let's see how much of it's going to waste. It doesn't matter though, because I only have one guy, so I can't decrease it. Not a lot. We could potentially use another smokehouse, but I'm not going to because it's not too bad. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty good. Spoiler just down. Let's try tallow. Yep. Those are good statistics. Add compost to our wheat. Add more bread. I mean, our uh, buckwheat production. Got lots of animals over here, which is actually really good for the hunters. Yeah, this is working. This is, like, fairly efficient. I don't know how efficient the other farms will be. Um, there's spot for two 10 by 11s, but I don't think I'm going to need the second one. It's just there if it's if necessary. I'm probably just going to have these two farms, and I think everything with the, the roads will be within it. That's weird. They stored wheat in the small field there. Storing grain there. It's weird. I think it's time to get the industrial sector done. I like to use the easiest things. There's two stockyards right here. And that is edge of the whole industrial area. There's a road. And then there's a wall. Two gates. And that goes into another storage area and then the northern and the northern and last place we'll build. We're going to do the east and west first. So These roads for the industrial. They run parallel with a few things. These walls all run the same length. Bottom wall though goes to where the stockyard is. Okay. It goes up. And it goes. There. like this is where the, wall, the road comes out. Second tile above the stockyard. Okay. And then that road runs parallel throughout the entire 
design. Yep. Parallel with all of these. the wall. Oh. Oh, my bad. This doesn't go there. That's where the towers go. This. This road should be parallel with the road right here. And it is perfect, because this is going to be an exact replica of the same general area, but with industrial buildings. Another 12 by 6. We'll use that 12 by 6 to help us align the second residential, which we need to get up. getting any herbs we need herbs for upgrades I thought yeah we need definitely need to be gathering those herbs all the time otherwise things can't just can't upgrade So there'll be another legion fort there, and to the west of this, there'll be another legion fort here. I tried to keep as much symmetry as possible in this design. It, everything... Everything really flows together in this design. Um, the way I designed it, the how I was able to fit even my favorite crop sizes in, um, being exactly centered. As you can see here, that was not accident. Like all, I spent hours designing this. Um, I didn't want wonky roads. There's a few places where the roads uh, diverge and that's it's just like right here that was just because of the the width of this but everything else is fairly parallel this road runs parallel to this road all the way through the design and this road will be running parallel To the next design. So, and like I said, these two roads are exactly the same. The industrial area is a little different, though, even though it's the centerpiece, because I 
have a perfect design to fit every okay get this I have in this small space I I'll, I'll list all the things that I have planned for this Furniture, furniture shop, furniture shop, blacksmith. I'm gonna do this. The brickyard, an armory right here, a glass maker right here, two sawmills here, two sawmills here, two stockpiles that you see, two more sawmills here, a brewery, a soap maker, a tannery, a weaver, a wagon shop, a wagon shop, a cheese maker, a vault, another vault, and a well and a well right there. I fit every single crafting building into this area, and then I have, and then I have above it three candle makers, three more wood cutters. Down here I have three wood cutters. Here I have a, um, a cobbler. A Fletcher and a second cobbler. So, but yeah, so every single crafting building fits in this like really small, small design. And the brickyards I put outside always. Alright, let's watch this. Fuck. I keep stealing all my freaking ingots, man. Okay, this can't, this cannot commence anymore. This tomfoolery must end. Let's get this, let's get this proper.
Ah, that's right. That's right. I take back what I said. I forgot I tweaked I forgot I tweaked this design so it would be one tile wider to fit everything. Oh man. So this is actually right here. One tile over. I didn't. I didn't keep the d double spaces there on this one. I knew something was off. Damn it. something was off when I got to here and my walls didn't match yep another double wall there okay. and that's the objective right now though get this freaking thing walled in Towers up for defenses. My population's growing. Um, I'm gonna do something like this just to give people a place to live, and I'll move the houses later. All right, yeah, sorry about that. I forgot that I changed my. I forgot that I changed this to when um, essentially I made a last minute change to the design to have the three by two statue um, placed in here. This is two, but the statue is two by three to be placed in here. And the reason I did that is so that it hits all the buildings in here. Um, I wanted to get all of these buildings compacted into this area because I found out that the um, in order to hit everything with a rat catcher if it was one tile too wide it wouldn't hit the last building so that's that's why it's like that but then also by bringing the statues in here I could hit I can't hit all the buildings that the statues are out there so they had to be a little closer anyway so I didn't do that I, I use the extra tile here so I could fit all the buildings that I had just described. So this will allow me to fit every single, literally every single industrial building to fit in this small area. I might actually even opt to replace the sixth sixth sawmill with extra storage they're the same size I think that would having a storage in this area would actually be superior even though I have two down there but you never have enough Double our output of firewood. OK, 
can't wait till we can smelt that gold ore. If I buy those ingots, they're just gonna get stolen. Cows. Cows would be a good buy, but uh, I'm just gonna hold the money for now. They'll steal the money too, so there's, there's a no-win situation here. catcher over here to make sure food doesn't go missing. Yeah, it seems like the farmers... I don't know what the hell they came over here for. Oh, bread. substantial amount of resources down here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Got a lot of food down here. Let's get that large park up. That will hit these, these buildings here. Yeah, I did have to do some last minute tweaks to my design, which kind of messed up the symmetry, but it still all works, maximizes everything. This you have to do just right, right there. This is a bit overkill, but it gets all the granary storage over here. Just keeps the rats out. The bar 
mine goes right here. So the barn has basically enough space for two granaries if you want it, or whatever you want. Um, I'm thinking, I think the problem is if I put a granary out here, it's gonna get stuff in it. Um, I could put smoke, I could put smoke houses out there though. That's what I was thinking. I like having the granaries over here. surprised our food production is not sufficient. We will definitely have to um, really step up getting cows next. The grazing, but the fodder bonus here sucks, but it will go up.
Yeah, we need to get cows. We need to get lots of, we need to get cows next. This is actually the critical stage right here because we need to get that second residential up so that we can get to tier three and collect more gold from our residents. finish these walls too. Too many things going on. We just need to hold the line. But yeah, so that I designed it like this so that the inner areas between the destinations have perfect protection. the bus through these walls while being shot by these towers and there's gonna be another tower right here and another tower right here so there'll be four towers pretty much covering every it's like my it's my my like number is I tr try to have four towers cover covering every area and if I can't get four I'm happy with three but see this tower right here intersects with these gates. So if they get to these gates, this tower can shoot. There'll be two gates right here that'll be shooting, and this gate right here should intersect this. And this gate can also this tower can also shoot this gate and this gate. So it took me quite some time to get these metrics like this, where the tower like as you can see, um, everything flows together. You'll see this this little loop design throughout the whole base, and when I get it done, there's gonna be a little circle here. It's gonna look cool. Guy. It's going all beans now. I just I I just play the RNG lottery and I just don't get that many diseases. Um We're gonna switch this up. We're gonna do some of that to get those weeds down. And I need to get the wall finished around this, but it's a process. Uh, for now, I'm just sending my hunters out there to uh, mop up the deer. It's the one good thing about having open farms is it brings the deer closer. I think that's a good place to stop th this let's play. Um, I'm gonna keep going with this design, but we are actually getting close to making progress.